In this video, we're going to cover important information that you need to know about testicular cancer, including causes, symptoms, and more. Testicular cancer is a cancer that arises from a testicle, and around half of all cases occur in men aged under 35. But testicular cancer rarely occurs before puberty. Now, it's the most common cancer in men aged between 15 and 44 years old, and there are about 2,000 new cases in the UK each year. In terms of symptoms and signs, well, in most cases, the first symptom noticed is a lump that develops on one testicle. The lump is often painless, but some people notice some pain or discomfort coming from the affected testicle. Other people might notice a general swelling of one of the testicles. Now, it's important to note that most swellings and lumps in the scrotum, which is the bag of loose skin covering your testicles, are not due to cancer. There are various other causes, including things like hydrocele's, cysts, and varicoceles, all of which are not cancerous. However, you should always tell a doctor if you've discovered a swelling or lump in one of your testicles, and this will need checking out as soon as possible. So now we know more about the symptoms and possible signs of testicular cancer, well, what are some of the potential causes? Well, in many cases, testicular cancer develops for no apparent reason. However, certain risk factors can increase the risk of testicular cancer developing. Now, the risk of testicular cancer amongst white men is about four to five times higher than that of men of African and Asian origin. There's also a potential link with a family history, meaning that brothers and sons of affected men have got increased risk. There's also slightly higher risk if you've had undescended testicles. Now, I'll just explain this in a little bit of detail. So the testes develop in the tummy and they usually move down or descend into the scrotum before birth. Now, some babies are born with one or both testes which haven't come down into the scrotum. This is usually fixed by a small operation. Now, for men who've not had their undescended testes surgically fixed, there's a larger increased risk of developing testicular cancer and there is still some increased risk in men who've had an undescended testes fixed when they were a baby. Men who are infertile with an abnormal sperm count have a slight slightly increased risk, as well as men who've got something called Kleinfelter syndrome, as well as gentlemen with HIV or AIDS, they also have an increased risk. In terms of assessment and diagnosis, well, your doctor will examine your testicles and refer you to a specialist if they suspect that the lump is a tumour. Now, a specialist will examine you and again, they might advise that you should have an ultrasound scan. This is a simple, painless test which uses sound waves to scan the testicles. Now, this test can tell if the lump is a solid mass likely to be a tumour or a non-cancerous or benign cyst, which is a fluid-filled lump which is very common in the testicles. On the basis of the examination, a specialist can be confident whether you've got cancer or some other cause for the swelling. And if cancer is diagnosed, then the usual advice is to have an operation to remove the affected testicle. The testicle which is removed is then examined under a microscope to confirm whether or not this is cancer. If you're confirmed to have a testicular cancer, then further tests are usually advised to assess whether or not the cancer has spread. And this is something called staging, and it aims to find out whether the cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes and lymph nodes in the tummy or the abdomen, whether the cancer has spread to other areas of the body, known as metastases, and finding out the stage of the cancer helps the doctors to advise on the best treatment options, and it also gives a reasonable indication of the outlook. Now, the tests that might be advised to stage the cancer can include a CT scan, a magnetic resonance scan, a chest x-ray, as well as other tests. Another useful test is a blood test. Now, tumor markers are commonly tested for, and these are alpha feta protein, beta-HCG, and lactic dehydrogenase, also known as LDH. If you've had a positive test before an operation to remove the cancerous testicle, the test may be repeated after the operation. If the test becomes negative, it usually means the cancer was probably confined to the testicle, whereas if it remains positive, it means that some cancer cells might have spread to somewhere else in your body. In terms of treatment, well, as we've already discussed, most often treatment includes surgery, chemotherapy, as well as radiotherapy, but the treatment advised for each case will depend on the various factors such as the stage of cancer, the type of cancer, as well as your general health. Finally, many people will want to know what is the outlook of testicular cancer. Well, obviously this is going to depend on the individual, but generally the outlook or prognosis is usually very good. Treatment for testicular cancer is usually successful and testicular cancer has become a curable cancer in over 95% of cases.
If your testicular cancer is diagnosed and treated in an early stage, you've got an extremely good chance of cure, and thankfully most testicular cancers are diagnosed at an early stage. Even if the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, there is still a good chance of cure. For testicular cancer that spread to other parts of the body, the chance of being cured is much higher than for many other types of cancers which have spread, and that's because the cancerous cells of testicular cancer often respond well to chemotherapy. For more information on testicular cancer, please do check out the resources in the description box of this video, which have included how to do a self-examination of your testicles. And remember, if you've got a new lump on your testicle, always go and get it checked out by your doctor.